Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so we're going to continue the uh, Here's a Might Magic 3 um, uh, Chronicles. So, this one is called Master of Elements. Tarnum must face down his old, own prejudice against magic and become a wizard if he has any chance of saving the world from destructive elemental lords. So, trouble with magic. Tarnum must defeat the Conflux Town to gain the knowledge she needs to confront the Elemental Lords. If Tarnum loses any battle that causes loss, Tarnum will be limited to a level 8. But he and two of his best captains will carry over to the next scenario. Okay, so plus one spell power or or ten of his... I'd say plus one spell power. The ancestors swept Tarnum away to a distant tower where his sorcery was part of everyday life. Now he wore the robes of a wizard and was expected to lead the creatures of magic against the elemental lords. I was fishing on a still lake when the ancestors appeared to me, um, their ghostly forms hovering just above the water. Tarnum, they said in unison, this is the most important task we've ever set before you. As they magically transported me to a distant tower, they explained that when the world was created, the, guards forced, the gods forced elemental lords into a 10,000-year uh, 10, truce. 10,000 years have passed in a violent, selfish, and elemental lord's plan on separating all the elements, thus destroying the entire world. No wonder the ancestors seem so urgent. The elemental lords were coming out uh, to our world to destroy it. But what if I didn't wait for them? What if they t I took the battle to them, to the elemental planes where they reside? They certainly wouldn't expect such an assault. Unfortunately, the only way to reach the elemental planes is through a complex town, and only one remains in the entire world. Okay, so cool. I'm a wizard. So finally, we're a magic user, and we actually don't have a spell book. Everybody else starts with a spell book but us. That's pretty... And we can't build a freaking mage guild. Wow, game. Wow. Just wow. Um, Okay. You guys will probably join me. You sit down among the gremlin miners and tell them you're, uh, of your fight against the elemental lords and that you're in need of troops. Their leader nods and says, The evil elemental lords have no place in this world anymore, and if they really intend on destroying it just to spite everyone, well, we're not going to let that happen. Will you accept our help? Sure. Sure. Uh, the elemental uh, Lord of Air enslaved this group of gremlins long ago. They cheer as you walk among them, cutting the ball and chains attached to their ankles. As one, the gremlins throw down their saws and pick up their former shackles. As excited as working on the sawmill was, one of them says, I think we'd rather be fighting the elemental lords. Would you mind if we come along too? No problem. Lots of air elementals. Okay, so it looks like I'm supposed to supposed to get rid of those guys, probably. That's my guess. I start with 30 obsidian gargoyles. Why would I need to do is start it with extra gargoyles? It's silly. Okay, I'll take these guys out. As a chill wind cuts through your closing, then you see the earth, uh, the air itself take shape. Air elementals. Not only are they a prepared to attack, but the icy wind kicked up by their presence is starting to give you frostbite. One of them uh, approaches and shouts, "By the Lord, Air Lord's command, you shall not possess the gym pond." I think that I shall. So it's really awesome. Enchanters are really good units. And this guy, actually, he can make enchanters, which is pretty damn broken. I mean, just that in and of itself is pretty damn broken. So, yeah, I can upgrade uh, Magi or Arch Magi to enchanters. This is really broken. Um, can't really buy anything. The King of Bracketa, Gavin Magnus, has given me use of his troops to battle the Elemental Lords. How the ancestors arranged this, I do not know. As helpful as King Magnus seems, he's also he also sent along a representative named Barcelar to make sure someone protects the interests of the kingdom. From the first moment we met, Barcelar was trying to tell me what to do. He's more annoying than any person I have met, and a wizard as well. Two reasons for me to hate him. Personally, I think the twit needs to be pushed off the nearest cliff. Unfortunately, I, I would only end up with more problems if the third cousin of the king disappeared. Yeah... Um, let's go over here. Ooh. 
Lord Tarnum, Barcelor, my assistant, addressed me. I would suggest you get rid of those pesky air elementals and take that gold mine. Are you stupid, man? Are you freaking stupid? I can't get past there. Okay. Uh. Dude, seriously? Need a tavern. Need to buy some people. Ooh, Thane with his uh, scholar. When are they going to give me a freaking spell book? What's wrong with these people? Oh no, I don't need to do that. Alright, I guess you need to go over here then. The Air Lord knew you would come for this gold, mortal. Our superior uh, superiority is obvious, so surrender now or die. Um, I could do this with no losses, I guess. Oh, what? Did I just skip my turn? I did. That was dumb. You're going to force me into one of these horrible situations, aren't you? It looks like... Oh, let's get that this turn. Sitting at the table from my uh, in my tent, I shake my head and chuckle it as an assistant tries to explain the elemental planes to me. Please listen, sir, the mage says. We have evidence to support this information. First-hand accounts of these alternate planes... But the entire world is made only of fire. That's not possible, I say. Sir, the elemental planes, the rules of the world do not apply. In the elemental planes, you can walk on clouds. The entire landscape can be made only fire. That's why no one has ever dared to take uh, an army into these lands. Well, possible or not, it will be the first. I said boldly, I may have to use magic, but I could still fight like a true barbarian. There's no reason to sit around and wait for these elemental lords to come to me. I'll take the battle with them and end it before they get a chance to harm this world. Okay, so... Yeah. Oh, I didn't take this. Crazy. You come across something half buried in the snow. It's a large pendant pulsating with magic. At first you are repulsed, but then you decide it might be worth something, magic or not. But as you bend to pick it up, the snow moves and an ice elemental rises from the ground. Soon you realize the entire ground in this area conceals nothing but a pack of these creatures. A pack of ice elementals. Oh, boy. Um. Okay. Tell you what. Want to fight them? Let's fight them. I can't actually make it. Um, One of the natives of this region approaches your army. You can barely see his face behind the bundles of clothing he wears to fight off the chill. Sir, I hear you're the one who plans to battle the elemental lords. Seems to me like you're crazy to take on such a task. But then, who am I to question you? Anyway, I wanted to warn you that this valley is often visited by air elementals, and you never see them until they attack. Beware. Great, so that basically means I'm going to go... There, there's ambushes. This is basically what that means. That's bullcrap. Nice, I got some spells, though. Die. Let's see if I can do any better than that. Oh, it's too bad that happened after the fact. I 
actually lots more. Wow. Okay. All right. So this lady. I don't know. What should we do here? We can't really build much at all. I can upgrade that. Oh, wait. I didn't even build a workshop. Pretty bad. Insane Archmage runs out of the tree line screaming, It's mine, it's mine, you can't have my treasure. I have no idea what he's talking about, but... You have no idea what he's talking about, but nor well, nor do you think you'll be able to avoid a fight. And he's gone, okay. Well, I could get, um, get Taurusar. I don't know what, what I'm supposed to do with this pendant. This is has to be one of the most useless things. Immune to blight. Well, I guess it's not, er, blind. It's not totally useless, but still. It ain't really all that. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade those magi. Yep, there it is. Wind kicks up, blasting down from the mountainside, practically throwing you out of your saddle. Sensing this is no ordinary breeze, you order your troops to prepare for combat. Okay. Good. Um, I think I have to take this. So far, we've underestimated you, but we've figured out how to tell if you're coming. You'll regret that the day that you made us your enemy. Okay, definitely take your magic. Holy crap, dude. Um, I. Probably, maybe, well, maybe I want to get that. I don't know. We're going to have to probe that and see if that's anything that we want to get. Um, that It looks like they're limiting what spells I can get, which or what, um, what skills I can get. I remember they did that the last time. So if I do this, if I maybe just uh, avoid getting levels this map and wait till later maps, maybe I can avoid having to pick crappy skills that I don't want. Hmm? Let me see what that is then. I've been told that if I plan to fight the elemental lords, I must use magic. No wonder the ancestors brought me to this tower, the home of the creatures born with magic in their blood. Magic's... Holy crap. Magic's all around me, making the little hairs of my of the back of my neck stand on end. Even after all these years apart from my culture, I'm still a barbarian deep inside. I distrust magic and anyone who uses it. Give me a sword, any weapon, and let me face my enemy in combat. Freaking wisdom? Okay. Huh. Alright. I will not be forced to choose crappy stuff. I just won't. I won't put up with it. So, what I think I'm going to do... Let's see. This is junk. This lady's junk. Eagle eyes. 
Well, I, I don't know. Maybe Eagle Eye isn't junk on this map. Maybe I can actually use Eagle Eye. Let's level up the Eagle Eye lady, and between her and the Scholar... Um... So I already have Expert Wisdom, so I don't need that. i tell you what, I'm going to stop leveling this guy. I'm going to just put the levels on everybody else, because this guy could remain low level until the next map, when maybe I'll be offered some ability to get better, um, you know, to make sure that I can get good skills, because I'm really afraid of getting locked into a place where I don't have good skills. That would really be a, kind of a disaster. my the ultimate nightmare um having to go with a main hero with crappy skills it's just not acceptable you're really firing off some fireworks over there Okay, take the wisdom. So this guy, um, this guy can become my scholar, I guess, huh? Um, actually, yeah, I guess we want to level up this guy then. Gargoyles! If it were up to me, I wouldn't even have them in my army. These unnatural freaks make my skin crawl. They are, their eyes don't blink, they don't eat or breathe, yet they follow orders and stay close to their master like dogs. Yeah, I guess I'll take them as followers, I guess. Ooh. Really? Oh, really? A piece of wise advice, Barcelor began. He was always willing to let you know the importance of his own words. Visit those mage towers weekly and recruit to shut up, dude. I'm not gonna be patronized. Oh crap. I got ambushed. Okay. That's why you don't go too far. That's why we just stay here, I think. Go for the lookout tower. Let's see. Okay, it's a very small map. Very small map. Oh, they broke through. Barcelor has been droning on for the about better part of an hour about intricacies of golem construction while I've been daydreaming of a golem falling on top of the scrawny wizard, crushing the life out of him. Then Bar Barcelor stopped talking. I turned towards him. He was waiting for something. Must have asked a question. What? I sit around with a yawn. I said, Barcelor dragged out the words. It would be beneficial for me to hire those lazy one of those lazy heroes from the tavern to visit the Gremlin workshops, the parapets, and the other creature dwellings each week. They could collect the taxes from the water wheel and water mill as well. Sure, sounds like a good idea, I said. I quickly pointed out uh, toward our right and said, Look, a rabbit, a rabbit. Barcelona looked and frowned as he realized there wasn't a rabbit. <laughs> In other words, I'm annoying. Okay. Uh, this is our Mercury. Go find your own. The Elemental Lords are far more powerful than you it will ever be. It's wise to join them and side up with the and side up with some upstart fool. The lab will be a necessary to your victory, so you grudgingly have your troops attack. Okay. Yeah. Ahead, lots of air elementals have surrounded the home uh, of some gargoyles. Looks like the Elemental plan to bring the entire building down to its foundation, unless you stop it. Okay, good. Great. So again, we're going to avoid... Um, avoid battling with Tarnum himself. These guys reach me. Possible. Let's 
So, because we don't want Tarnum to get a bunch of levels and, and have to crip, pick crappy skills. That would be kind of a disaster. I'm going to go ahead and go for that. Uh, she has haste. He has shield, I believe. Oh. Come on down, bro. So what are we actually up against here? Lots. All right. I'm going to just... Oh, wait. I don't have enough money, really? Um. Okay, I'm going to marketplace it then. <clears throat> I don't know if I really need... I, I guess I don't really need this. a lot of this stuff. Should be able to do it. There you go. It is expensive to upgrade those guys, though. Again, the air elementals appear out of nowhere, swooping out of the sky, etc., etc. What? Wow, that's a lot of them. Didn't realize there were that many. Piece of crap. Ouch. It seems like everybody's being offered leadership. So it, it does seem to me like they're limiting my skill selection here on this first map, which is pretty lame. Do I actually have enough to kill that guy? I think I do. Oh, but I can't reach him. Nice. Alright, I don't want to... I don't want to... You know, if I go any farther, I'm afraid that I'm... I might, uh... Might get hurt. What is your problem? No. How did you get in here? Nobody... I didn't let you in here. Ah, this damn cat. He comes in, he eats a few pieces of food, and then he says, All right, let me out now. <coughs> Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Who let you in here? Come on. What, a... what pisses me off is people let him in. This morning I left while it was still dark to explore the immediate area. Perhaps it was foolish, but dealing with all these magic makes my head feel like it's split open with an axe. Just the chance to be right alone in the wild makes me feel better. Then I was attacked. The air elementals came out of nowhere and picked me up uh, from my horse. I tried to use my staff on them, but it was useless. While the elementals were completely surrounded by their element air, they carried me up in the clouds themselves, taunting me all the way. Then they let me go. It seems like I fell for uh, an eternity straight towards the solid ground below. I tried to uh, prepare myself for the pain, and then something took hold of me from behind. At first I thought it was the elementals back to taunt me again, but when I turned around I saw one of my assistants, the gargoyles, the gargoyle master. The small man was flying through the air with the help of magic, and he set me down without injury. I lowered my head, shamed that I had been saved by magic. Alright. 
I believe we can... I believe we can beat this guy. So let's beat him. Lots, several lot slots. Yeah, I don't see why we'd have any problem with that guy. Ah, huh, that's it, huh? Okay. They're magic. Yeah, they're, um... Nobody's getting anything, but it looks like air magic, leadership, mysticism... Well, she already had offense. Okay, we're gonna go for this. Enemy has fled. Okay. That's a pretty good result, I guess. I'm gonna say that's alright. Yeah, you notice a pattern? Notice a pattern there? They're not gonna give us anything but that crap. Um, yeah, I can't even upgrade the city hall, nothing. Who else do I have in here? Uh, okay, that's good. That lady's got haste, this lady's got magic hero. And I'm only limited to those type of heroes, looks like. And I've just com kind of completed my Scholar guy, basically. Alright, Rissa. You go, girl. You go, girl. Golden Golems. Mine appears to have been, been active for centuries, and you can see why. Standing outside are some gold golems. Standing guard, although these golems are mindless, they are the perfect guards. They never sleep, they never take breaks. And they do die. in there. Um, Sierra's actually pretty damn good. Yeah, Sierra's actually pretty darn good. Of course, we're not going to have Sierra. We're going to have Rissa, looks like. Um, but Sierra would be a nice guy. Um, nice wizard to have. Let's see. Lord Tarnum, these enchanters of yours are very expensive. It was my newly appointed treasurer, a man who saved my life from the air ele elementals. I promoted the Gargoyle Master as a reward for keeping quiet about the humiliating incident. I know they are powerful magicians, the treasurer said, but they're, only, but they're very expensive. Find the money somehow, I said. There's one way... When we have an abundance of a resource, we could exchange it at the marketplace for gold or any other resource. Gee, thanks. Dude. Never would have figured that out. We have learned a lot of uh, from the elemental lords over the years, and there is much knowledge to be gained. We can't let you proceed with this foolish plan to attack our teachers. Surrender now. No. Okay. Spell power, that's, that's good, and that's hip, that's cool. Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah, we don't have anything there. All right, Rissa. Lots? How does he still have lots of, of those guys? And take air magic. Air magic. Nothing wrong with taking air magic for that guy. All right. Yep. Yeah. I think we're gonna. Ooh. The sneaky. The sneaky sneaky.
So he does the sneaky sneaky, does he? Like, uh, there was nothing I could do about that. All right, so Rissa, you know the drill. And he flees right off the bat. Okay, fine. Um, I can't, I don't dare get close to turn him. Oh, wait, I gotta do that at least. But we don't want to get close with Tarnum for fear of uh, of being attacked at this point. Um, oh god, we got Solmir. I forgot about that. Level 4, baby. Let's go. Let's go, Solmir. Let's go. Totally forgot about Solmir. Hell yes. Hell yes. So, where are we going? My lord, said the wrinkled assistant as he approached. You summon me? I come, I've come. i come to realize the wizards have been uh, more assistance than the hairs on their sunken chests. I have a theory. For every problem that faces them, from difficult magical form formulas to ill-fitted boots, wizard hires a new assistant to solve it. Hence, the most powerful wizard is the one who never has to lift a finger as a retinue of apprentices cap or capable, of, uh, capable of populating a city bustle around him. Which one are you, I said. Pontificate, the Golem Master. Oh yeah, I was wondering, as long as I have those golems in my army, can you do something to make them breathe? Whatever would you want to do that for, Lord? I don't like them. Yeah, they're strong, and but they're so creepy, like walking corpses. Do you like corp corpses, Pontificate? I said sharply. It's Pontificate. Uh, Pontific. It's Pontific, Lord. Uh, the Golem Master said, Oh, and no, I do not particularly like corpses, so can you do anything? I do not think so, Lord, but golems are quite useful as they are. They will do whatever you want to do whenever you tell them to do it. Yeah, Prolificate. Ponific, Lord. Yeah, but they don't do everything I asked them to do. I ordered the one to breathe, but his head cracked open trying to get his small mind around that one. I said, Lord, that's quite impossible. Honific said, annoyed and confused at the same time. Fine, forget the breathing, I said, grinning as I wondered how far this wizard could be pushed. Can you make them blink? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Chain lightning is on its way. Yes. Chain lightning. Awesome. That's pretty good. Cool. And haste, by the way. So Sol Solmir would actually be a good uh, candidate, wouldn't he? Okay, I'm a little bit afraid of getting, like, attacked. Okay. Okay. Ooh. You see this giant glint of gold from where you stand? It's obviously the fabled Purse of Gold. Unfortunately, you also see the glint of gold... For uh, from some gold golems. The moment the, your hand touches the bag, they activate, and you'll have to fight them. Are you really interested in fighting a pack? Oh, pretty easy. So, Labetha and Ventu. That's the town I have to take. I think if I take that town... And I'm not sure. Let me actually save this. But I think that town... I, I automatically win if I take that town. Therefore, I've got to make sure I've visited all the power-ups real quick. I think I have. Ooh. Okay, gold mine. Oh, just one that I'm missing, that's all. For chain lightning, why not? All right. 
I think that's it. Just take this city. Alright. I don't think this should be too bad, right? Okay. That was all I had to do for that map, apparently. Um, I was hoping... Oh, nice. Could not find bitmap H. Great. Ha ha ha. Start with Lookout Tower. Start with 1,000 gold. I will start with the Lookout Tower, actually. I'm missing that uh, graphic, apparently. Tarnum must defeat the armies of Lord of Air. Of Lord of Air. Tarnum and all the heroes will be limited to level 12. Tarnum and the best two captains will transfer to the next scenario with all of their skills, spells, and experience. The Orb of Firmament will transfer to the re uh, rest of the scenarios as well. Nice. All right. Why wait for the Elemental Lords to come to him? That's what Tardin uh, must have been thinking when he decided to take the um, the battle to the Elemental Plains. Oh, damn. Even though, etc., etc. Bar Solar found a book in the Conflux Library that reveals the way to the Elemental Plain of Air. So we've come to this impossibly tall mountain range to find the gateway to the clouds. We've also brought some items with us from the Conflux that will allow us to pass into the Air Lord's land to defeat him. However, the thought of walking on the clown still frightens me. What if these wizards are wrong? What if we fall through? Okay, so finally got a freaking uh, spell book. And apparently... Oh, nice. View air. Okay, good. Well, that's pretty cool. All right. Cool. Um, oh, yes, and I have that. Got plenty of plenty of dudes. So I finally got my spell book. Guess what, guys? I've got Chain Lightning. Guess what, bro? I got Chain Lightning. Chain Lightning, which means you're dead really quickly. We protect this ore pit for a master, the Lord of Air. No one else may have it. Really? Stuff. I need to get rid of these guys as well. We protect this Salmo for our master, the Lord of Air. Not for long. Okay. Oh, wow. And there's a freaking air uh, thing. Tome of Air. And since we're not playing Horn of the Abyss, we can teleport into the Slee as long as we have magic points. That's freaking awesome. Uh, yes. I'm hip. I'm very hip. So that's pretty much all I can do. In a recent letter, King Magnus stated his concern that we might not be able to contact him uh, after we pass into the elemental plains of air, or that we might not even be able to come back. He suggested I remain here and wait for the elemental lords, but I refuse. The elemental lords won't be expecting an attack, which was exactly why I'm doing it. Why give them the time to build an army then? Unfortunately, Magnus has been able to get the genies to uh, hasn't been able to get the genies to join me as I requested. As creatures of the Plane of Air, they can't, or won't, take part in my, any aggression against the Air Lord. So much for any troops, extra troops I have, to make do with what I have. Which won't be a big problem, seeing as I have freaking Chain Lightning. Why don't you have a freaking workshop at least, dude? All right, so, um, hopefully next level, which will come very soon, I will be able to pick something other than the crap skills that they've been giving me. I don't know. We'll see. Gold belongs to our master, Lord of Error. No one else shall have it. Oh, I believe I shall have it. Also, I think I'm getting hugely penalized for walking over this terrain. Um, I need to go get that Tome of Air. 
I think I think I'm like suffering a huge penalty for walking over that train. Oh, also we've got a wall of knowledge here that we need. FYI. To me. Alright, we're going to see... With a crack of thunder, you suddenly surrounded by storm elementals. Not quite. Not quite, because remember, we have that. That's a big problem for you. Ah, oh, they're still doing that thing. That looks, it looks like they're still not going to allow me to get any other skills. So that's really annoying. Um, okay. Be like that. Great battle, Lord Tarnum. Tarnum Barcelor says, stepping out of the trees, leave it up to that weasel to wait uh, until after the fight and step forward. King Magnus has chosen his leader well. However, you should visit the Marletto Tower to learn what they have to argue. Yeah, whatever, dude. Noob stuff. Oh, good. Training posts. Oh, the pendant of negative. Oh, man, that's so freaking broken. I just realized I got the pendant of negativity over there. Yeah. All right, Barcelor left today to search for the gateway to the clouds. He decided his magical talent would be best used as a scout, plus he wants the freedom to study the elemental planes without interruption. I think he left because he realized I was close to removing his head from his body. As I saw him right away, I smiled. Now if I could just rid my army of the rest of the wizards. Huh. Um, pack of Eret, yes, I will take these guys. We protect the crystal cavern. Shut up. Um, I wonder how far I could upgrade my Mage Guild. Yeah, everybody's getting, like, basic leadership. What bull crap? So, basically, we're still on the thing where we can't get any extra skills, which is... Bonk. Oh, no. Floating around the Tome of Air Magic are lots of genies and hordes of storm elementals. One of your men steps out to count the exact number and discovers at least 30 genies and 80 storm elementals. It may be wise to ensure you have enough troops to take. Ah. Uh... Bolex. Bolex, 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 okay. I guess we aren't doing that right now. I mean, I could take them, but the problem is, is I'd level up. That's the, that's the problem. And we'd be offered two crappy skills. Which is how they do things around here. Uh, yeah, Mage Guild. Yeah, so we don't know uh, exactly how... I mean, I assume because we have all these mines, we can actually get a mage guild fairly, uh, fairly advanced, I think. That's what it looks like to me. We don't have uh, advanced wisdom yet. Okay. Um. Yeah. Bug 
Yeah. Take, um, no, I won't take that parapet. Screw that parapet. I don't need anything. Day five. Did see that. Okay, cool. All right, yeah, we're going for this. Miller works for us now. I don't think so. Uh, we're day six here, right? You know, Rissa should be able to get this. Richard should be able to get this. Okay, so Town Hall, I don't know. Town Hall Golem? Mage Tower. Altar of Wishes. I don't think any of that's really necessary, actually. Been receiving letters all week from the wizards and mages under my command, thanking me for building the Mage Guild. It's almost embarrassing the way they go on. Okay, so, yeah. Alright, so, cool. Actually, actually, let's do it this way. So I really don't think that this should be a problem. At the very least, get rid of these. We protect these jibs for the Lord of Air. Yes, I will engage them. I'm seriously like, yeah. Okay, I guess I will get a stone parapet, man. I don't have that much money. Money is a problem. Ain. Oh boy. I like Ain. It gains where it's at there. All right, so. Just buy every freaking thing I can. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna go get that. Uh, I'm gonna go get that item. Which I imagine I can, right? How many were there? Quite a few. Oh, nice. Ha! And, of course, we've got mass haste, which is good for us. Now, 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 now. What do you think you're doing? Ho oh, ho! Die. Well, it's too bad I lost most of my my melee army before that happened. Huh. 
Uh, Waterman, really? I'm kind of, I'm kind of shocked. I get that anyway. Because now that we have that, we don't really need to worry about anything. We can just warp her everywhere, really. Right? <laughs> so we can just completely... Um, oh. Okay, there's one town. There's one little old town there. Uh, it's been so long since I heard from Barcelor, I was beginning to wonder if he might be dead. No such luck. He's not only alive and well, but he discovered another tower. It's old and a little run down, but many of the buildings are still intact. He found the creatures that dwell there to be rude and stubborn. They wouldn't join him, nor did they have any interest in battling the Air Lord. They can't be that all that bad if they didn't like Barcelar. Um, according to Barcelar's uh, crudely drawn map, the tower is far to the east. Okay, yeah, that must be the town I just saw. Okay, I need to I need to kind of clear everything here. Orb of air. Well, I'm gonna. I doubt that they're just gonna let me take that. Really doubt they're gonna let me just take that. I think I need somebody over there. Um. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. They really limited my spells here, didn't they? Do I really believe that they're going to let me... me see what happens when I get Mage Guild level 2? Huh. They limited my level 1 spells. Um, interesting. There's level 3, there's level 4, there's level 5. They don't seem to be like they're going to not let me get to level 5, at least... Not from what I can see right now. Huh, very interesting. Can I dimensional door? I can fly. Oh crap. I should have probably waited. Okay, I'm going to give him that, that, and that. And I wish I could give him a faster troop, but yeah, I don't think so. enough. They just let me take that. Okay. That was unexpected. Elon. Alright, fine. City Hall, I'll definitely take it. I feel like I'm really doing bad as far as the money goes.
think I'll go for him. How wonderful! School of Magic. I can't believe our luck. You really aren't to increase your... Yeah, shut up. Um... Okay. So what am I actually supposed to do on this map again? Oh, great. Uh, defeat the Lord of Air. That's the only detail it actually gives me. Okay. Citadel. I don't. I don't think I'm really going to need lots of troops here. I'm gonna call it a hunch. It just doesn't feel like I'm going to need lots of troops. Oh. I should check that. Oh, that was, that was bad. We've been instructed to decimate anyone who attempts to pass here. Prepare to be sacrificed to the Lord of Air. Well, it was a lot of guys, but um, you lost. Well, you know what? I could take those guys. Um, but I'd also probably get a level for that, and I don't want to. One thing we want to avoid is getting level levels here. So, uh. This is problematic. I need to be able to take this place. Yeah, it's problematic. Okay, level three. How how far are they gonna let me go here? Like, these are pure air spells. There's not let's see. Fortune. There's literally only air spells in here. So, well, I mean, hell, theoretically, if they've only limited me to air spells, you know, I may be able to get things like dimensional door and fly, and that would be so good. That happened. That would be so so awesome. If I could have those spells. Yeah. Also, maybe I can get back my other hero. Who I lost there. Scholar guy.
have any freaking stuff. Alright, Rissa, go for it. With this stupid city. I guess I'm still I'm still in fly mode okay uh citadel sculptors library ah. not worth it I like Rissa with her um with her resource generation it's kind of nice there it is. That's what I was looking for. Okay, cool. Uh, all right. So this is the big question. This big test here. How long? How far are they going to let me go with this? How far are they going to actually let me go? Oh no! Ambush. Okay, great. Yeah, that's fair. Well, you know what? Let's do this. I believe we should be able to at least hop. No. That's so lame, dude. You know how I hate those ambush. This just out of nowhere ambush is just so stupid. All right, so let's let's do this then. We'll get ready to take this city next turn, and we'll just clear this the old-fashioned way. Meantime, I'm going to dimensional door back over here. All right, this is day seven, and. Well, let's go, um, yeah, do this. Chain lightning, okay, fine. As good as it. What, what does this let me do? Well, nice. It's a wall of knowledge. It seems to me that it's just air spells here, too. Um, so there are two air spells to get at level five. No, I'm sorry. There are f three. There's fly. Okay. There are three of them. Great, though. Do City Hall could use that. So we're going level 5 here. 
Uh, yeah. Alright, so library and then uh, level 5, I would say, probably is my plan. Let's go library first. It's a little bit cheaper. Um, you know what? Let's um, let's use the money. Okay. Library. Library. Oh wait, it doesn't work. Oh yes, it does. Yes, it does. Or does it? What the heck? Well, it'd be nice to know that they're gimping you in this way beforehand, right? Before you actually try it out. School is closed. I don't think so. I don't think I can get a level 5 mage yield yet. Nope, I don't think I can get one yet. Get a wallet nod instead. I've decided that the ancestors are punishing me. They placed me with his wizards, made me one of them, and completely humiliated me. Today, I made an attempt to befriend these learned men. I stripped to the waist, stood to the nearest snowbank, and then I challenged every man in the camp to wrestle. No one accepted. Come on, I shouted. You, you, and you. All of you take me on at once. Nothing. They all stared at me like I was insane. No wonder they need their spells. They're afraid to do anything that requires a little sweat. And it isn't ironic that I, the barbarian king who slaughtered thousands of magic users, must now master magic himself or the world will perish. The ancestors must be laughing at me. I knew I would be in their... I knew I would be if I was in their shoes. Storm elementals everywhere. Okay, level, level five. Level five mage guild. You better not screw around here. Oh, yes, I forgot about magic mirror. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, that's a good one. I do, however, like unlimited dimensional doors. That's pretty cool. Yeah, so, um, I don't know. You think they're actually going to get let me get dimensional door? I, I think probably not. I think I'm uh, wasting my time even trying for that. Really suspect I'm wasting my time even trying for that.
That was a big one. Uh, you're not sure where Barcelo came from, uh, but suddenly he's standing next to your horse. Your hand goes quickly to your side, but there's no sword to be drawn. Lord Tarnum, this way, Barcelo says with a cocky grin. He saw your started, startled reaction and enjoyed, you, enjoyed it. What do you want? The gateway to the clouds is along the trail of the north. I stepped through and saw the elemental plane of air with my own eyes. Remarkable. But when some elementals chased me back here, but then, but some, uh, <coughs> I try to say that when you're sneezing. Um, remarkable, but some uh, storm elementals chased me back here a couple of days ago. I've been waiting here for you ever since. But again, Barcelor joins your forces, but he and some other wizards seem preoccupied with uh, his observations from the plane of air. At least they'll leave me alone for a while. Okay, so lots of storm elementals. All right, fine. Uh, okay, whatever. I, I don't think, like, I really doubt if they're going to let me get Dimensional Door. What is this? Oh, okay. There's nothing up here. I know how they do these maps. It's just too early for them to, like, let me get Dimensional Door. I don't think they're going to let me do it. Hold on a minute, though. I can do something. Um. Yeah. I'm gonna try to force something here. We'll see. Oh, they let me got the fifth level on that one, or the the um. Yeah, that actually worked that time. So we got summon air elemental. That's yeah. Oh, I don't know. I don't know, maybe I can do this. Not forget, we, we can also go down there. Um, and this guy, we can actually just uh, jump him around too. Dare to cheese. All of the power-ups should have been gotten, so I'm just going to wait for the level 5 Mage Guild and I should be fine. Uh, which I can get. I believe I can get. What was it? Level 3? Yep, that's what I'm... Ah, they blocked me again, dude. I think they're going to uh, play with me here, and they're not going to let me get it. Although it takes many years to master a weapon, using one is relatively natural. Anyone can pick up an axe and swing it. It's a tool, but I wonder who came up with the complex spells that make up magic. No wonder most of the wizards have such scrawny bodies. Everything is about formulas, equations, and complicated actions, all to draw the desired result. It takes forever to memorize a simple spell. Whoever came up with this must have been a madman. Yeah. Tell me about it. All right. Uh, all right. So, Let's see here, can we do it? Three boy, That's that's really really expensive. I can do it though. I can do it. 
D6. Yeah, you know, this is looking familiar. Screw this, they're not gonna let me get Fly or Dimensional Door. That's looking too familiar. No way. Alright, so, um, this isn't really the guy I want to take over there, and the reason is because, um... I don't want him to get another level. So we just give it all to her. And uh, where is the Tome of Earth that I was supposed to get? That's my question. Or not the Tome of Earth. Uh, Orb of Silt. That's what I was supposed to get. Oh, no. You know what? I still lost... Uh... Ah, it doesn't matter if I lost that artifact. It doesn't matter. We're fine. Ha! Ah, elemental growth. Great. That's a pack of Master Genies. Oh, good. This is the elemental plane of air. Before stepping uh, from the monolith, you drop your staff into the billowing white clouds. Shaft floats as if on water, refusing to settle on the clouds. Amazing! Cautiously... You take your first step, you feel something like solid ground beneath your feet. Even though you know there is none, you don't think you're ever going to get used to this. Basic air magic. Well, yeah, I would imagine. I would imagine that we're going to get basic air magic there. It uh, looks like I need to send other people over there. I thought it was going to be done when I got, got through there, but I guess not. Well, I could buy a castle and then a capital. Okay, well. Oh, it's huge. This place is actually way bigger than I thought. Five genies approach under a white banner. Lord Tarnum, they address you with deep bow. We would like to join your army. Some of my people... Okay, cool. Okay, there's power-ups over here, so I should actually be going over here. Looks like. Ah, found Thane. Good. Good, excellent. We need the reinforcements too. Okay, let's see what we got here. What is? What are we up against? This looks pretty easy. He's fled. Yeah, we'll take it. So I thought this was over once I got down here, but apparently, uh, not. Definitely not. shot in fact um okay so i don't think like i said i don't think there's any reason to just stay there um the the next level in the mage guild is almost certainly going to be the same as the last one today some of my assistants summoned me to a frozen pond near 
A grove of trees as the wizards broke a hole in the ice with their staves and removed the shards of ice with their bare hands. When the preparations were finished, everyone stood in a circle around the hole. This is called a scene pool, uh, Hammeroth said, and any still water can be used to create it. What does it do? With it, we can find a person or even over great distances. A uh, person even over great distances. Hammer... Hemorus explained that they were going to try to find Barcelor. I wasn't sure what to expect, so when the water began to glow eerie blue, I took a step away from the hole. Hemorus grinned, amused at my apparent fear. Suddenly, the surface of the water became shiny and flat, like a mirror, and then a single figure appeared. I bent over to look closer. It was Barcelor walking upon what looked like a field of white clouds, the plain of air, perhaps. He still lives, Hemorus said, and the other wizards applauded. Plotted. Eh. So much text. So wordy. Alright, so fight the genies. Boy. I guess. Okay. Maybe we'll take Fafner and use him for a bit. Obviously, we gotta get wisdom right. One of the GDs who recently joined your side explains that you might even be able to convince some of the air elementals to join you. They're brutish creatures, not too bright, and will jump at the chance to bad, do battle no matter what um, any opponent. No, no matter what opponent. All right, cool. So I didn't actually know that this map was going to go on for this long. This is a little bit of a surprise. Um, I ordered Hemrus to appear through into the scene pool again. This time, do something useful. These wizards don't just understand, just don't understand strategy, or else they would have told me before that they had the power to find people. Find the Lord of Air in his complex hemorrhoid. Uh, uh, Lord, I'm afraid that you've mispronounced my name. It's supposed to be Hemeros, the mage instructor said. Finally, the man found his courage. Whatever, just find the Air Lord. Later, Hemeros reported that the Lord of Air couldn't be found, even though they were able to locate his complex. The troops within were preparing for war. He saw sprites, air elementals, and storm ele elementals. Lots of them. It seemed easy for you to find Barcelor. Why can't you find the enemy? Uh, if he were dead, the spell wouldn't work, but this isn't likely the case. I believe the elemental lords are immortal, although that is not my strongest subject. So what does it mean? It could mean several things, Lord. I've consulted with others, and we've decided that perhaps the Lord of Air is so powerful that he can hide himself from the scene pool. So basically what you're telling me is you don't know. Wizards hate to admit their ignorance. Yes, Lord. Okay. I don't know if we really want to do that. You know what I, I want to do? One final roll on there, but I, I don't I don't think they're going to let us get what we want. But who knows, I'll do one final roll just in case they do, which I don't think they will, but we'll, we'll just check anyway. No, it's the same crap that I got. That's pretty disgusting. Okay. I'm not sure, like, how much of this is going to be needed, but just in case it all is, I'm going to get it all. Visions, huh? Uh, okay, so there's good stuff up there that I need to visit. We've already got air magic, obviously. I'm going to go get that. should probably be using her, not the other guy. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, wow, okay. Oh, man, that is a lot. 
Okay, so we're probably dead. Don't have enough gold. Soak up that that counterattack. How are you not taking more damage than that, lady? Really? Okay, well, I've got one of those. Nice hit. I better just run. Well, we did... We did hurt some stuff a little bit. Um, but it looks like we're going to go have to go back for troops here. Even though you walk on solid surface, you know that there is no ground beneath your feet. However, trees and mountains sprout up from the white clouds, making them appear an endless fog. At least it makes you feel comfortable to think of that that way. Otherwise... You'll drive yourself crazy trying to figure out what's a tree, where a tree, tree's roots would go. Okay, yeah. Hmm. Mm -hmm. So plenty of power-ups. Plenty of power-ups. So I need to defeat this entire person, basically. So I'm going to be in trouble. So we're going to just rehire this bozo right here. Um, all right, so we're gonna completely get rid of all of our all of our um, stuff. Reason why that is is because we want to hire every bully freaking thing that we can get. So we're just going to give him the stuff there, 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 there. I'm going to have to run because we don't want to be in here right now. We're going to use uh, Thane, I think, to get through here. She's gone. Again, I don't want to get one level for this guy until I can get a better skill set. the parapet. Also. So we've not now got level four. You know what? We've got like chain lightning in the orb of air. I think that should be enough. And we're we're immune to chain lightning. So that's going to kill, like, so many in one hit. Yeah, we'll be fine. We'll just warp over there and, and kill him. Do 
she's chasing me, and that's definitely a bad idea. Definitely a bad idea. And that's probably your strongest hero. Oh, weak of the plague. Ooh, ouch. Well, that's okay. Weak of the plague doesn't affect the fact that we have, you know, heroes that we can hire, right? Also, I can upgrade that go those golems too. this lady. She's got haste, and we've already got haste. We know we've already got haste, so. Oh, Neela! Neela starts with shield, I believe. I mean, not that that's a big, big deal. But I'll get it anyway. Upgrade those golems. And I think I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of everything right now. Because I want to hire one more hero. go. Okay, that should be enough to kill pretty much anything right now. Alright, we're gonna end the, end the life of this guy. The girl here. Kablamo. Strange that these guys don't get more um, speed. Like, they're in, like, you know, air elemental territory. You'd think they'd be a little bit faster on the clouds or something. One would, one would assume. Maybe not. Lightning bolt. Lightning bolt. Die, lady. So, um, he built this like 425 that kills quite a few, I think. Yeah, I think I think this might be a one shotter. Come on. Yes. Nice. All right, what what do I got here? Wasn't what you want. You want to give me lead. You want to force me to get leadership, don't you? You're gonna do it. You're gonna try to make me do it. Um, I'm not sure where I'm going to have another well, so I'm actually gonna go back because I think I'm gonna finish the map with this guy. You know. Oh, nice. I'll take it. Or we could also finish the map with this lady who's... Yeah, we'll finish the map with this lady. Not important, really, who I finish the map with, but she's got she's got more spell points. I 
did go to this, yes. Why do we got... Um, oh, we do have some guys that we can recruit there, apparently. And she's got, um, she's got mysticism for whatever that's worth, which is really not worth anything, but cute, I guess. I'm predicting now that, uh, now that I've done that, I should have an easy final battle, right? I mean, I don't, I don't know that 100%. Lots, pack, and horde. I think that should be correct. Just in case I need backup, I'm going to actually get some backup. We got plenty of money. Yeah, it forced me into the same skills all the time. That's really annoying. So, leadership. Oh no, bro. Oh no. Ain't gonna be like that. Not this time. It's, it's real pain in the butt. They want me to get leadership. A few days ago, I sent a scout uh, to investigate some rumors I've been hearing from the locals. This morning, the man returned. I clenched my fist at his report that the spl sprites held in cages, enslaved by the Lord of Air. The Air Lord holds their children hostage, forcing the adults to fight for his cause, work in his mines, and other such horrors. The sprites may be the magical creatures, but they are slaves, and I'm familiar with the helpless feeling that uh, your life is not your own. Nothing is more crippled... Uh, crippling than being subject to the whims of the cruel master. Uh, those are the memories that drove me to become a, the maniac I used to be. Perhaps I went too far, but I still like to think that my cause was just. We're going to free those sprites, I promised. vaguely remember where the thing was. Um, okay, it's right up there in the corner. There's also a bunch of troops or heroes down there which I probably want to avoid running into. Um, now here's the thing, this time, this is, yeah, this is that, hold on, I'm going to save it, because here's my plan, I take this, and build that university, yeah, buddy, 
<laughs> oh, they tried. Oh, how they tried. But I defeated them. I have defeated them with my wits because they tried to keep me from getting anything else but leadership and all that other junk, but they failed because I took that and now I can get whatever I want. Ho, ho, ho. I can get all the magic skills now and they can't stop me. Um, in fact, if I can run with this guy, dude. Oh, I can, right there. Like, what else can we build here? Artifact merchants? Don't need it. Oh, thwarted! Thwarted, absolutely thwarted. Okay, so... Alright, so, yeah, let's do that. Should I go basic fire? Nah. But definitely want basic earth. My god, you want basic earth. My god, you want basic earth. So now it doesn't matter. It literally doesn't matter. He can get levels now. Boom. Earth. Water. Fire. Fire. Hell yeah, why not? Let's go nuts. Fire. And... Uh... All L air spells still. Okay, what else do I expect, I guess? Awesome. I'll take the spell power. Think. It would be. Let's, uh... No. Okay. I'm doing this just to scout. We're scouting. Okay, there's a couple of power-ups over there I want. Gotcha. Yes, let's retreat and rehire right here. Want fire with this guy. Mm. Fire. Let's see here. Um, why not? Let's do it. Oh, wait a minute. I don't think so, because I want logistics and other stuff. Let's wait on the fire. I think maybe the fire is just a little bit, uh, a little bit out of control. Um, oh yeah, we've got some more dudes. Got some more dudes over here, too. Alright, now we just gotta eliminate these guys. We gotta visit all the things that we need to visit, and then we eliminate those guys. Very cool. So Brissa's over there. She's kind of like in the corner. We don't care. Okay, there's Fear, and he's pretty buff. We kind of need to watch out for that guy. That's why, that's why she had so many, so many dudes, is because, um, she had so, so much generation, so much creature generation. That's crazy. Okay. Alright. 
Oh, yeah, I'll Fafner. What do you got? Protection from air, of course. Couple of things I want to get down there. Okay, cool. They're still pushing those other skills, though. They really, really don't want me to get what I want here. Die, Brissa. Shouldn't be an issue. There's also this guy. This guy is the guy that's going to be a problem. So he's the guy we're going to kill last. I like him. I'm going to kill him last. Just want to go down here and scout just a little bitty bitty bit. Yep. She's gonna die. We don't care. Oh no! Don't go up there. We found a place where the sprite children are being held. Barcelor was one of the ones who discovered the holding pen and sent word to me. I immediately dispatched a large contingent to free the children and bring them any tower until and bring them to my tower until we can deal with the air lord and free the parents. All right. Great. Um, I'm seeing if there's any more power-ups. There's no power-ups. There's just a bunch of sprite things. Okay, cool. Fine. Neela can go down here and maybe draw his attention while well, this guy this guy needs to go over here. Oh you piece of crap, you Wow, okay. Well that sucks. So we're just we're just trying to get our power ups. That's all we want. That's all we want out of life here. Just power ups. Um, and then we'll kill him. So he's trying to make a break for it. Won't work. Oh, here he's trying to come for the, the thing. Well, that's fine. Let him get it, actually. I need to go just, just a little bit more. I need to just go get that power up, and then we should be fine. They're still trying to push those uh, the, the junk on me, though. Makes me mad. Alright, he's got his town. We don't care, though.
Die, Galeri, and uh, you also, I believe, shall die. I believe so. I'm pretty sure we've got everything. Yep. I'm actually kind of a big battle, though. But now you're dead. Completely. Oh no. Not gonna be how it is. Bam. There you go. Nice advanced earth. That's what we want. Teal has been vanquished. Good. Okay, I feel like uh, I was right to hold off on getting levels on that guy until then. So, alright. I think that's it for this video. I'm out, guys, and see you in the next video.